Google and Samsung aren't throwing punches, but make no mistake, they're drifting apart, quietly, strategically, and the ripple effect is about to shake up the entire Android ecosystem. This isn't just a shift in partnership, it's the beginning of two very different visions for the future of smartphones. Welcome back, viewers! Sam here. If you're into exciting tech stories like this, make sure to like the video, share it with your fellow phone nerds, and subscribe for more fun, bite-sized updates. Let's dive in. For years, Google and Samsung were practically inseparable when it came to hardware and AI development. Google's Pixel phones relied on Samsung's Exynos architecture to build the custom Tensor chips, and in return, Samsung leaned on Google's AI firepower to stay competitive, especially with its Galaxy AI platform. But now, the tides are shifting fast. Google's next move. Ditching Samsung's chip making for TSMC the same powerhouse that builds Apple's chips. Why does this matter? Because Samsung's Exynos-based Tensor G series chips have been criticized for running hot, lacking efficiency, and underperforming under pressure. TSMC, on the other hand, is known for delivering smaller, faster, cooler chips. With the Pixel 10, Google wants power and control. And this switch might finally help Pixel catch up to the big boys, Apple and even Samsung itself. And Samsung, it's not just sitting around. They've recently signed a deal with Perplexity, an AI search startup that's been making waves for its lightning, fast results and privacy-focused approach. This partnership means future Galaxy phones could launch with their own AI search experience, one that doesn't rely on Google's infrastructure. In other words, Samsung wants its AI independence. Here's where it gets interesting. The Galaxy S26 and Pixel 10 will likely be the first phones to show us what a post Google, Samsung era looks like. Until now, their AI experiences felt eerily similar. Sure, different skins and hardware, but the brains behind the magic were coming from the same place. That's about to change. The Pixel 10 will probably launch with a brand new Tensor chip built by TSMC, offering improved thermal control, better battery life, and way smoother performance, especially for those intense AI tasks like real-time translation, image generation, or smart reply pre-prediction. And if leaks are true, Google might integrate even deeper AI personalization tools, thanks to its own Gemini models running more efficiently on device. Meanwhile, Samsung is reportedly taking Galaxy AI to the next level. With Perplexity's integration, the S26 could offer features like offline AI search, real-time document summarization, and even predictive answers based on user habits, all without needing Google's backend. It's a bold step, and one that could put Samsung in a league of its own, if it works. But wait, it gets juicier. One of the biggest criticisms of the Pixel 9 was that it felt almost great. Amazing camera, cool features, but that Samsung built chip held it back. Thermals were off, gaming performance dipped, AI responses lagged under pressure. The Pixel 10 could finally remove that bottleneck and become the Android powerhouse Google always envisioned. On the flip side, Samsung's been criticized for leaning too hard on Google's AI instead of building its own. But if they nail the perplexity integration and give users fresh, exclusive tools, you might start seeing real competition within the Android camp again. Imagine Samsung and Google trying to out AI each other. That's not war, that's innovation. And you know what? This quiet decoupling is probably the best thing that could have happened. When two tech giants work too closely for too long, things start feeling stale, predictable. But now we're heading into a future where Pixel and Galaxy devices could finally carve out distinct identities, both in performance and personality. We might finally reach a point where choosing a phone isn't just about camera specs or screen size, but about whose AI assistant fits your life better, whose voice sounds more natural, whose device actually learns from you faster. And that's not just cool, it's the next evolution of smart tech. So are we witnessing a breakup? Not officially. But all signs point to Google and Samsung taking very different roads. And the best part, we the users get all the benefits. That's all for now, folks. Drop a comment. Are you more excited for Pixel's new chip or Samsung's perplexity-powered AI? And if these two are truly going separate ways, which direction would you go? Team Pixel. Team Galaxy? Or just team, whichever has better battery. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this breakdown. Hit that bell so you don't miss the next deep dive. And until then, this is Sam signing off with one big reminder, tech's about to get way more interesting.